What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful here with a name you know, and you're going to get to know her even more. We got Billy Starks. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Do you know how happy it makes me to have somebody from Kentucky to root for? Because in Kentucky, it, it was not the best of times like 10, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. There weren't a lot of people to like root for. And now, as we're here, you're about to have your own show. You're, about, you, yes. you're, you're involved in so many different aspects of wrestling at such a young age. Like, how, how have these last two years been for you, especially? Um, it's definitely been very, very crazy, um, but very, very exciting. I'm very grateful for everything that I've been able to do. Um, it's definitely stressful at times, but I'm very, very happy that I have uh, such a great support system. I have Mouse, I have my yes. mom, and then most of these wrestlers are like family to me. Um, and this weekend I get to hang out and have fun with all of them, and I'm very, very excited for the show. And yeah, somebody like Mouse who's around wrestling, familiar with wrestling, able to help guide you. I mean, that's got to be like sort of a calming situation too, to have somebody so close to you here with you. I've always said that it's always great because I have someone to go to at all times. Like, oh, uh, no matter what, I always have a person that I know that's going to be with me, and they know me better than anybody else. I was like, this man has literally raced me since I was like four or five. And I was like, now I can just go travel the world with him and he makes sure that I'm taken care of. But uh, it's slowly becoming where I feel like I learned to like take yes. care of myself. It's weird when I started doing my whole weekends alone. I was like, oh, I kind of miss Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I mean, like I, as I was looking, at least what's online, you're listed as in the last 365 days at 125 matches. I know that there's probably more that don't even make <laughs> like counted. cage match. Yeah, I mean that's a full time schedule, like beyond a full time schedule. People in WWE do not wrestle that much these days. Yeah. How is that for you? I mean, like, is it ever too much, or are you like, while I'm young, I'm doing it? It's like a mixture of both because there's been times where I'm like, uh, I really need a break. So I will take like the time during the week as my break because I love wrestling so much that this is like my happy place. I was like, it doesn't feel like work. Um, it just sucks sometimes because I'm like, oh, I gotta go take care of my body the rest of the week because um, I want I want to do this for the rest of my life. I can't not do it, um, and I want to put on a good show for everybody. So I'm of course gonna beat myself up every yeah. weekend. I think it's so cool like when I'll hear people talk about you and like people that are training to wrestle and they'll be like, mm -hmm. I learned so much from her. At 17, people are like, I'm learning so much from her because you have packed like this, this national world traveler thing into a teenage schedule, which is not easy to do. It is not easy it's to do at all. It's definitely been rough this year because I'm getting ready to go into college and I was like, oh, <laughs> I want to keep wrestling, but oh my God, I feel like I have no time. And I've, I was like, thank God for my parents because they've definitely organized my life for me for the past couple of months, uh, way more than I have because I was like, yeah, I'm behind on everything. But everybody was like, you're doing so well. And I was like, am I? Yeah. I feel like I usually do a lot better than this, guys. <laughs> when you first started out, did you, like, get concerns from teachers or anybody like that that are like, what are you doing? <laughs> and obviously with some of the more violent stuff that you've done, yeah. like, they're going to see pictures of that and be like, what? Yeah, it's definitely been crazy. My freshman year of high school, I had a teacher pull me out in the hallway, and I was like, I didn't even do anything. Like, what What am I in trouble for? Like, I'm so confused, because I'm like, this is the first couple of weeks in school. I haven't even, like, talked during class, really. I was like, all my work's good. I have straight A's. What does this woman pull me out in the hallway for? And she is like, hey, uh, you're doing really great, blah, 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 but what's going on with all these bruises? And oh, I was no. like, oh, oh, you think my mom is abusing me at home? Oh, no. no. So I had to clear that up, and I showed her, like, wrestling videos because I wasn't very, like, open about it. My yeah. friends knew about it, um, but it was like I wasn't telling, like, my teachers and all the other students. Now everybody knows because they're like, oh, yeah, that's why she's bruised up all the time. So I'm just known as the wrestler in my school. Um, and I think I have a few friends coming to the show tonight to That's come awesome. like support. It's been really crazy because they're like, wow, you're really doing this. I mean, <laughs> if like, 
if my wife was watching Riverdale and they had like a high school girl who had wrestled 125 matches in a year, I'd be like, that's not believable. It's yeah. not real. <laughs> like it's it's the type of stuff that like you would see on something like that, and you're living it, mm -hmm. and it's incredible. And also. Uh, we're right across the river from Kentucky. This has great benefits in the Kentucky wrestling scene, too. There are all types of people that will travel out here that maybe had, would never have come near here as well. Yeah. How does it make you feel to know that you are expanding the area in which you live in? I'm so happy about it because a lot of my friends, I was like, oh, I can't really take them to the show because it's too far out. Yeah. Or I can't even wrestle in Kentucky yet because of my age. I was like, I can't get licensed until I turn 18. And I was like, I just want something close to my local home that like my friends and family who live here can come and enjoy. And I want it to be a good show. And I was like, no better person to run it than <laughs> me and the, yes. my father. <laughs> and I'll leave my thoughts on the Kentucky Commission out of this, but I, I ain't a fan. I ain't a fan <laughs> of that money grab. But... Uh, I love You're, Indiana. We're lawless. We that, can get away with whatever. <laughs> I've, I've had so many conversations about like, when WWE was like, okay, we're not going to follow your rules, they could just go to Cincinnati, Huntington, yeah, Indianapolis. Indian There's so many river towns that they could run mm -hmm. without that. But that's a different conversation for a different day. What are your goals in wrestling? I know that's – you're young but experienced in that same mm -hmm. breath. You're about to go to college. Like what if a WWE or an AEW came along and they said, hey, full-time deal, you got to put college on hold. What would you do? I would just do college with that. Because I feel like I would, I have a crazier schedule sure. now than I would with like a TV a company. Point. So I was like, maybe that would be a relief. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a good point. Like, because I mean, you wouldn't have to work 125 dates a year. Mm -hmm. Not that you have to now. You you do it. You I put just it in your choose because I love it. Yeah. It's just so much fun for like traveling. I enjoy being able to see like the world around me. And I feel like I've always been a person I can't stay in one area for too sure. long. I was like, I got to go see the entire world. <laughs> Do you have like a dream place to live or what's been your favorite place to travel? Um, I just want to live in the Midwest. Like okay. I just feel like wrestling lives in the Midwest. Um, even though I love it on the West Coast, I feel like you get trapped on the West Coast sometimes. Yep. And the same thing with like Texas. I feel like you get trapped in Texas. I was like. Some areas are, like, too big and too far from all this other craziness. I like the chaos. <laughs> We're pretty close to, like, several airports. Like, yes. from here, you can go Louisville, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Lexington. Mm -hmm. So if like It's just easier to travel. Yeah, if you get stuck somewhere and you're like, i got to make a flight somewhere near where I'm at, you've got a lot of options. Here. Yeah. So that, that's a benefit as well. What are your goals on independent wrestling right now? Independent um, wrestling. So... My goals right now, I honestly just want to make this into my living uh, once college is done with. Um, and I was like, I'm so close to that goal. Um, because it's been a very, very like hard to do because it's like, oh, I need to have good merchandise. Yeah. I need to keep steady bookings. Oh, I need to post on social media um, just so I have this attention on me so then I can make money from this attention. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm going to college for business and marketing. So I That's feel like brilliant. that will help me with wrestling. And I was like, and it's also a back, backup plan because I don't know if my body will last for forever. Sure. And there's always accidents. Like I had an accident a couple, about a month ago now. Um, I like busted my head open and I had like blood everywhere. Yeah. And everybody thought I like did it on purpose. I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not trying to do this. <laughs> and even like before we, we squeeze this interview in, you're, out here helping making sure everything's set up and good mm -hmm. to go. I, I love that you are involved in so many aspects of wrestling. I think you majoring in what you're majoring in is going to help that even mm -hmm. like tenfold. I think it's brilliant. But tell the people where they can follow you on social media, where they can support you. Um, you can follow me at Billy Starks, B-I-L-L-I-E, and then Starks is S-T-A-R-K-Z. Woo. Check her out. And not the future of wrestling. She's the present of wrestling. <laughs> She's all over the place. Billy Starks, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Until next time, guys, we're out. NordVPN.com slash Fightful. I travel a lot. I'm on that unsecured Wi-Fi when I'm on the plane, when I'm uh, at the airport, when I'm at the hotel. NordVPN.com slash Fightful helps me stay safe and secure. And I can change my virtual location with just one click. So if I'm across the country... I can change my virtual location and get access to all the shows that I'm already paying for. But not just that. 
I can get pay-per-views much more affordably, a lot of content more affordably, with a wider array of content, thanks to that ability to change my virtual location with just one click with NordVPN.com slash Fightful, and it works on all my devices, whether it be a laptop, desktop, PC, router, TV, NordVPN.com slash Fightful has you covered, and we have you covered with a 30-day money-back guarantee on top of four months free. On top of that great service, the fastest VPN in the world, three great tiers, nordvpn.com slash Fightful.